That is weird. You, you better check and get that shit there. Hi everyone, Ron Tucci back. Thank you for coming back to my studio and visiting me. And uh, this is what, tell me, this is the fourth time? The fourth uh, mm -hmm. Blue Nose occasion here. Painting the painting, it's in celebration of the 100th anniversary of the launch of the original Blue Nose. And uh, today we're actually going to get to the point where I'm finishing up details. I know it's changed a lot since the last time you were in here. Uh, but before we go into all of my, my changes and stuff like that, I want to make sure you... Uh, I got hacked earlier today because I'm not asking you guys to share. I'm just an artist. So uh, what I, I, I'd like to do too, please, is, is to help, uh, help us out and share our videos or share our link with your friends and everything. And... We'll try to get more and more people on board to, to watch these and, um, and like us, please. And uh, we're, we're going to get at this thing and we're going to finish it off. I think today it'll be uh, a lot more information. We're going to try and offer you as much information as, as we can about the actual packages that we've designed for this. And uh, hopefully you like what you see right now. Uh, like I said, the uh, the painting has changed uh, substantially since the last time we were on. I actually didn't even start the water at that point. And, uh, and actually, I think it's probably good that I didn't. You'll see that on uh, as I record um, uh, the um, these videos. Uh, I also, uh, I record a video when, when you're not here too. I, I actually re record in, in very high, de high def. And uh, we will have a full painting video as we go that will show you the entire painting uh, that has gotten done. I'm, I'm just I'm being a little distracted because, and I apologize for that, but uh, I noticed my camera doesn't have the right frame, the camera behind it. And uh, I'm going to actually go fix that because nobody else knows how to do it here. <laughs> I've got a special tripod. Just be a second here. It's going to be real fast. Yeah, yeah. I won't leave you. I'm just here in the background and try to get this frame right. Nothing worse than having an hour and a half of video that's useless. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's a, yeah. Nothing worse than that. Yeah, nothing worse than that. <laughs> you can't go back and redo it. So yeah. this is a uh, live. And uh, if we got the little hiccups here once in a while, that's fine. That, that'll have to happen. So in the, uh, the, the painting the other day, <clears throat> I left it really rough. And, and like I, I probably spent as much time 
since you saw the first two videos, I've, I've put hours in to get the waves to look right. I've settled down different, uh, the atmosphere and everything else. And actually, we should have had, uh, and I, on the, the finished video, I'm going to probably have uh, the stages that we ended at, maybe from day to day, it would be kind of a cool thing to look at. But uh, what I've done now is I'm going to be just uh, fiddling around with uh, rigging and stuff like that. And there's a ton of rigging on these ships. Uh, I've got uh, the, all of the detail I need here with me. And uh, I should be working a little bit on this thing. Uh, I don't know if I've got many people online here, but if yeah. you guys... Do we have some people online? Yeah, we have a comment. I yeah. see right now that there's actually quite a few shares already, a lot of them from Rob Sarp. So okay. thank you, Rob, for the support. Also, Larry Alexander. Oh, Larry, how are you doing, buddy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Larry uh, owns, well, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Well, he owns one of my originals, and it oh, was a very good. special original. Wow. The one that Larry owns, actually, I'm going to just say it outwards, is the Canada 150th. And, uh, oh. And Larry, you're going to see in uh, uh, the next paintings we're doing, there's going to be something very, very similar to that painting uh, that I did there because people enjoyed it so much. The Canada 150th was um, a piece that I did on uh, Canada's, or for Canada's sesquicentennial. What a wonderful word that is. <laughs> And uh, it was 150 years of Canada, celebrating Canada, and uh, in the piece there was uh, 150 clues and objects of, of uh, Canadiana, right? Canadiana. And I know it was funny because uh, I know Larry fell in love with that. Everybody that walked in and saw that, that painting, uh, that was a shocker for people. I think they really, really enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm rambling. No, that was one of my favorites, which is why I had it in my office for a while. Oh, yeah. I keep the favorites in my office, and that one I just love. Actually, that, 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 the original, just, you know, it's oh. funny, I, I, I don't, I, I was saying that, you know, when, you, when I do a, oh boy, it sounds boasty, when I do a good painting, I find myself getting locked into it the same way as other people. When I was just showing Kelsey this morning is, uh, when I'm here sitting at this thing, we get real close to it and she, it, she showed me a picture that she took of this to put it online. I think it was on Facebook. Eh? Yeah. And it's like, wow, you know, uh, when I, the, when I see a painting that you guys see the way you're seeing it right now is I, I don't see that like that. I'm, I'm up here front and close. <clears throat> close up with the tickle of my throat and uh and I don't see the painting I see actually brush strokes a lot of brush strokes and and I was uh, uh I asked Kelsey what she was seeing and she said well it's rough right here you know it's kind of rough and yes it does you see the brush marks but I said now stand back and look at it and you know that little bit of roughness too this is what the magic of oil painting is all about especially you know you artist people out there if you think you have to refine it, which I always used to do, I used to get it to the point where I was refining my paintings to the point where they weren't even naturally crisp. They were over sharp. They were, I sharpened edges too much. And uh, I found after a while that if I left it a little rough, it really gave a better natural look. So, I mean, the ship, and you see it in the ship right now, you see the, the brush marks. And I, I know you can even see it from there because it's almost got a smokiness to it. But if you take a real good look at the, you know, we think these beautiful white sails and stuff like that, they're really not. They're actually worn and torn and, you know, and repaired and dirty and, you know, especially in this world with the environment the way it is. I'm sure sails don't stay white as long as they used to. Can I mention about the sails because I just love the canvas on the sails that, uh... I don't know if I'm, if I'm saying this too soon, but I actually uh, matched the mat on the uh, printer's proof that we're doing and the artist proof. I just love the mat because I was able to get a canvas mat that is the same color of the sails and yeah, one of my favorites. And I remember doing that when we did the um, Shearwater and the other Blue Nose that I did a, a canvas um, specialty mat on it and I just I just loved it. 
because it felt like you had yeah. a piece of the painting, you know, in the frame. So, and that's Colleen's expensive taste. Yeah. I'll just warn you. You know, no, it's not. I mean, are you doing that in one of the artist's choice frames, Paul? Uh, no, I've got there? it for, I've got it actually in, on the printer's proof and the okay. artist's proof. And it's nice because it is the texture of the canvas. It's actually, I think, I think it is a linen. And, it is a linen. Yeah. yeah, and some, a lot of, actually, a lot of painters paint on that same uh, texture of linen. I, yeah. I use cotton, and it's just the material of the actual look is almost identical. I'm getting some paint out because my my palettes are getting a little dirty here. That's pretty hard to work from. Um, so I'm. I'm when you say your palettes are getting dirty, are they getting full or dirty? No, they get messy mushy. looking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to from mixing it, your paints. Yeah, right? it gets okay. it gets hard in time to find um, a spot on the on the sheet. I, I you know um, that you can use because it's so. I don't know about you, but sometimes those palettes are works of art. I think. I don't know about this one. I know, but I've, I've often looked at your palettes when you're finished each painting because I love that you, you know, you the, all the colors on the painting are on yeah. that palette. Yeah. And sometimes I've wanted to steal your brushes in the palette and just frame that. <laughs> Actually, I think we're going to be, we're, we're due for that now. <laughs> Actually, you know what, if, if anybody wants... Uh, when we do frame, or if they frame a piece of my art or whatever, <laughs> probably, probably might shoot me for what I'm going to do here. But um, I do have a whole whack of brushes that are uh, got to be retired. This is just one can of the ones I've got. So there's a lot in here that I, I, I actually, I've been you looking. That up, you can't see it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there we go. There's a whole bunch of brushes. Yeah. And out of those brushes, probably 30 or 40 percent of them are really shot beyond use mm -hmm. and uh, maybe when we frame prints here Colleen yeah absolutely. if they want one they can uh, absolutely maybe just pay for the cuts yeah and uh, we'll throw a brush in yeah absolutely and if we do that I'll have a little certificate done oh, what do you think that's a great idea eh? I just sure. like that because I love doing yeah. I I mean I'm passionate about the framing so yeah. I just love adding those extra yeah so See, see how ideas happen here. Yeah. I was going to say Mr. Zarb too because I, Bob gave me heck this morning for uh, Bob has been with us working with us for 32 years, and uh, and we've because we've been so busy with things and with COVID and everything else, it's been hard to keep everybody up to date on stuff. And he gave me heck for not telling them in advance. And I said, you know, sometimes these things just happen as they go along. And there, that was witness to one right there, uh, one of those ideas. Boy, I can ramble when I get going, eh? Yes, you can. All right, all right. Now, I don't even have, any, have any, any happy trees to paint, right? <laughs> Mr. Bob yeah, Ross. Yeah. Your happy trees. Good. He must have been a real hippie, you know? Oh, yeah. It was that era. Don't you remember his, uh, his hairstyle? Well, yeah, I remember. I watched them last week. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I watched two of his episodes last week just for fun. Oh, cool. I had I, that was like watching watching Peter Sellers <laughs> in, in Pink Panther. It was fun. I was just gonna say, you know, I, Kelsey I, probably doesn't know who Pink Panther is, or oh, Peter yeah. Sellers is. Oh, I totally know. Okay, so <laughs> just in case, I'm looking down here, and I've got a, I've got the easel or the. The tripod for the camera's got its leg in the way, so just in case I bump it, I apologize in advance. I'm sure Kelsey will get on, right on it if I do do that. Yep. And it'll be fixed real fast. Yep. I'm still putting together my, <laughs> my palette. It's okay. I'm so cheap. I, I'm, I'm, finding, I'm finding paint on different parts of different palettes here. It's called frugal. Yeah, frugal. I, I, I don't like wasting it. It's so darn expensive now that some of these paints are going up to seventy-five dollars a tube. The, the artist, the, I only use the highest grade of paints, but they certainly aren't aren't any cheaper than they used. They used to be a lot cheaper than they are now. Well, but I am I in the way of something? Say, 
Ron, I mean, when you explained about your paints, though, too, I mean, Grumbecker, how many years has that company... I think it's 600 years old. Yeah, and they still have, I mean, the recipes are, yeah. you know, yeah. still the old recipes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they changed hands a while back, and then somehow they seem to change back again. So, I, yeah, this one paint that I do trust, Windsor Newton is a good paint, too. Yeah. Windsor, Windsor Newton. There's no D in Windsor. Buy Windsor Newton. In case you want to look it up online, it's W I N. <laughs> I'm shaking my head. I forgot to turn the camera on again. Not this one here. Oh. That's on now. Yeah. W I N S O R Newton. And the, the, the excellent, excellent paints. Yep. Now, um, the, the, I, this is going to look slow. I, I can't, if I go to put something on, if I do it wrong right now, I've, I've really made a mess of things. So uh, I'll do, there's a whole whack of rigging. There's still a lot to go. So I'm going to just do it very, very uh, cautiously. In the meantime, too, um, uh, I really, you know, I really appreciate the Bob call. we talked this morning, and I, I'm, I'm, I try to be always open as open as I can be, maybe too much so. And he was saying that, you know, he says, how many of these prints are going to be done? He said, you've only mentioned it once, uh, and I think it's going to be 350 of these. No, I've I've mentioned it lots of times when I get the prices. It's on the website. Anyway, so in I'm going to mention it right now, just. Because, uh, so we're doing 300, are we doing the 350 of them? Do yeah. you want me to run it off? Yeah, if you don't mind. We're doing 350 signed and numbered prints, and they will be coming framed, mm -hmm. and I'm going to mention the prices. I will have a couple of frames for you to choose from, but even if you just want to get them, I can always send you, you know, let you know which frames to choose from, because they're both the same prices. Um, they are regular 395 that comes framed, ready to hang on your wall, and it also comes with a piece of the Blue Nose 2 in your frame, a little piece of wood that we've got. And that, I said, uh, right now, is we've got a pre-production price, $50 off, so that's $345. So that's the signed and numbered prints of $350. Then we've got artist proofs, and they are there are 35 artist proofs. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Kelsey just saw what I did. I messed up my palette. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it wasn't you. Blitz. No, I, I know people are hearing me. I thought it was something I no, said. No, 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 no. Okay. No. 35 artist proofs. The uh, artist proofs will have the piece of Blue Nose 2 wood in it, and it will also have our 1921 dime, because that was the year that the Blue Nose was launched, 100 years ago. It did not have our Blue Nose on it at that time. Right. Um, and they are, there's 35 of those, and they are going to be beautifully framed. Again, with I, that told you about the canvas, uh, the uh, linen mat that looks like the canvas of the sail. It's, uh, it matches it, it's just gorgeous. And those right now are five forty-five. That's fifty dollars off. The regular price will be five ninety-five. So we've got that pre-production price. And then the printer's proofs. They will. There's only ten of those, and they are um, going to have the piece of wood, the 1921 dime in the ones on the one side of the wood and on the other side of the wood it will be the 1937 dime and that's the first year that Canada put the blue nose on the dime so we were able to get a hold of some of those old dimes I just love them they're they've got really nice patina on some of them and those are $7.95 regular right now if you order they're $7.45 so just to do a recap there's 10 printer spruce 35 artist proofs and 350 signed and numbered prints. Patina on a dime. I, I like. <laughs> I, 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 I don't need. I don't. I, personally, I don't like the shiny, shiny new. I mean, it's great if they're 
you know, if they're uh, like a new car, or collectible. Yeah, the dimes. Uh, you know, if you if I haven't touched them. I mean, we've done coins in a lot of our yeah. stuff that yeah. have a plastic case on them, and I don't touch them. But these are old dimes. Yeah, I was chuckling because of that because the coin collectors prefer, but that's not what we're putting these in here for. They're Antiques. not meant to be. Yeah, they're they're meant to be a part of history and to to uh, represent a part of history. As... Just in case anyone wants to uh, look up that information one more time, it's available on the website. It's uh, www.suchu.com. So you can find all the information on the prints and the prices there as well. So maybe I should look at it because I never know the information. <laughs> you don't have to. No. <laughs> you just have to paint. So we're going to have a busy schedule this year. I don't, I mean, it seems to be that people enjoy to come and watch this. We had, I think, 1,300 people in total viewed the last one as we were going along. So that's, uh, I don't know if that's exactly right, but we'll, yeah. we'll just call it that. Yeah. And uh, it's just the numbers I seem to remember. Yeah. That's pretty much true. So you might... And, and if you don't see a lot happening today, I think um, my details are getting to the point. They're so uh, so subtle here, but uh, hopefully it wasn't a mistake to do all the rigging, a lot of the rigging before you saw it, because that really, especially up in the front end, the, the, the net up front and stuff like that, that really actually made the painting come alive. And the water, I, I enjoyed this. You know, this is the very first time I've ever done but I have a style of water that everybody knows, that beautiful, smooth, uh, what's in maritime words, it would be called the doldrums. It's when there's, uh, there's such a, it's such a still water, still air, that uh, a sailing ship will not move in the water. That's usually what they call the doldrums. And that's my favorite water. But you know what? This, I, this might be coming because... Having a bit more uh, mood hasn't hurt this painting at all. Mm -hmm. And of course, with the sails being billowed out, if I didn't put some kind of waves, it's certainly, I don't think that that would look right. That would make it look phony in itself because you're only gonna get waves when you have wind. I like the color of your water. Mm -hmm. I didn't think you were going to leave that dark green, but it makes it really gives it a depth, like yeah, that's, like it's in the ocean. Yeah, that's that's what I found. And the more I did it, the more I realized that you're starting to see just slightly through the wave. That's those are the old Hawaiian pictures where you see them, the wave breaking there and the light shining through. But living on the lake, I find that there's right at the time of day, just before the sun starts to hit, it, it, where it's still still bright. I, I think maybe half an hour before sunset, it's very low in the sky, and that's when you start to see the waves come, uh, the sun shining through the waves because they're being backlit so strong. This was a fun part of the painting here. I had to, I had to get a picture that was close in, uh, like that one to make sure I had the detail right there. And now we put all the little gidgets, <coughs> and, gidgets and gadgets on the boat. But it makes sense. And some that don't make sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a lot that don't make sense. Huh. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you have to finish? Rigging? I just want to make sure that I get all the rigging. There's some. Um, there's uh, winches and turnbuckles that 
show up. But, you know, because it's full sail, uh, a lot of the rigging up in here is actually hidden. It's almost a blessing. Oh, I was going to ask you yeah. that, because I thought that, you know, like, why am I not seeing any ropes there? Well, lines. <coughs> Colleen, my goodness. Lines. I still can't get used to that, you know. We have our own boat and everything, and we're at the, at the marina. I, I don't even, it's not only me that corrects her, it's a lot of people. I don't care. I know, I know. <laughs> That's I, the and I, whole deal. I agree with you. <laughs> um, a lot of guys will say, no, they're lines, they're not, they're not yes, ropes. Yes, I know. Never ropes, they're lines. And what was it, you drive the boat? I don't know. Somebody no, corrected you dock the boat, not no, park you it. also drive it, and somebody corrected me on that one day. Yeah, well, at least I have starboard and harbored right. Starboard and harbored. <laughs> she made it up. Don't kid yourself, she made it up. <laughs> starboard and harbored. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember... I don't know who the heck gave me heck, heck one day that I was out there and I said, you know, when I was parking the boat, he says, you don't park a boat, you dock a boat. Yeah. Well, excuse me. Yeah. Right? Man, there's a lot of lines on a boat. Oops. It's Amazon, or not Amazon, it's probably Google. Do not hang up. Yeah, do not hang up the phone. Not saying you hang up the phone. Oh, I don't know, I never do. I feel, always feel like I don't want to insult the recording. <laughs> Robots don't have feelings, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so we have Kevin Stewart here. I think he's been with us in every live session. Very Hi, awesome. Kevin. How you doing, bud? Yeah. It's my cousin. Your cousin, right? Yeah. Just looking at the comments. I know we have uh, 11 viewers right now. As you know. Are. <clears throat> Could I just roll back and take a look at my page for some Absolutely. Here? What do I see, Call? Do you see the rigging there? Do you, do you see which ones are right or wrong? Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't which? help you there. Oh, yeah, you're missing one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> goes right across from the top right down to the nose. <laughs> this one here. Oh, no, there is. Yeah, you're right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Just kidding. There is one. Yes. <laughs> this is like a puzzle at this point. There is one here. It's coming from... Oh. I know, I, I'm probably covering up what I'm doing too. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Bob Zarb, you're on. I'm going to ask you a question. When did we paint the blue nose two? I'm trying to think of that. The blue nose two. Somebody asked me that, and I don't have any notes in front of me. I don't have my thing in front of me, but I'm trying to think when you painted that. I'm going through my mind because I've had that hung up in my house for a while. I know we had we had the uh, place in Kingsville at that point. Huh? Oh, oh, right. It was also at our LaSalle store. No, really? The Blue Nose? On the Walker on Walker Road, maybe. No, 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 no. The LaSalle store on Malden Road? Yeah. No, I don't think so. No, no, not that one. The, the, uh, oh, at the Windsor Crossing. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's a good question. I'll have to figure that one out. You're the one that asked it. No, like, no, somebody asked me. I oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. All I know is I don't want to sell the original because I like it too much. <laughs> I don't think you've got a choice. There. Yes, I know I don't, but I like it. I don't, uh, your ship's painting, like people ask me a lot uh, if I have a favorite painting and I, I you know, like I, I can't say that I like one particular one better than the other, but I have to say that I have a, I have a thing for all your ship's paintings. I really like them. So Rob Zarb says he's not sure on the date that it came out or year. Okay. Um, and then he also says, maybe this, I don't really understand, but, Hey Colleen, do you know how to never mess up port and starboard? <laughs> Let me think, because port is red, which means right. That's what I was learned, that no. I was learned, that's what I was <laughs> taught. Uh, so You're wrong already. Am I wrong? Yeah. Oh, port is wine. Okay, let me think. Wine, wrong, I don't know. <laughs> How about this? What? Oh, here, Bob, what's your answer to that one? How do you figure it out? I'll tell you how I figured it out. Tom Wilson taught me. Let me put it this way, Bob. I never worry about it. I'll go right or left. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Or front and back. And not only, not only that, she's never controlling the boat. No. So. Yeah. I don't have my captain's license, so I don't worry about it. I just watch for the boys and the big ships and people floating in the water. Yeah, the last time we were docking, we docked on the port side, and I said to Colleen, get ready to dock on the port side, and she walked off to the right-hand side of the boat. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> just a bad joke. Okay. Yeah. Four letters in the word left. Oh, that's so funny because Kevin just commented that. <laughs> what? Four letters in the word left. Yep. That's four all. That's all you have to remember. There's four letters in the word left. Why don't they just say left? You know? <laughs> Probably because, because, well, you're right. Well, because of, there has to be a starboard side for a reason. So it might be that the stars at, at a certain port, when they left port, they would be leaving with the stars to the left or to the right hand side, I'm oh. guessing. Oh, okay. well, that's and a good there would be a port side also. It's it's like posh, right? Posh. No, I've forgotten what posh is. Okay, so well think of port. So if they're leaving then that whatever harbor they You're got right, that I word read from, about that. right, would have been on the port. Would have been on the left hand side. And you know what? Starboard would have been where the stars were in open sea. So there was a train. I don't know which one it is in Europe. It might be something like something like the Orient Express. Yes. And when you left on that train, you would go out on the port side because you'd have the beautiful scenery to your left. And when you're coming home, you would be on, you would sit on the starboard side so you could yes. see the beautiful scenery. And that's where it became port out, starboard home. Port out, starboard home. Yes. P-O-S-H, -S posh. Posh. That's where the word posh came from. Yes, I read about that. So it was like upper class that got those Yeah, seats you paid first. extra to do that. Yes, yes. Then we got... Uh, Ben Burnath. Oh, okay. Oh, Ben. He yeah. says, beautiful. I can almost feel the sea breeze. <laughs> nice. Me too. How are you guys doing, Ben? I'm trying to think of where you guys are at. Pen Pennsylvania. Are they Pennsylvania? I think, so. I think you're right. I was going to say Tennessee, but it might be Pennsylvania. You're all wrong. No, I think you're right. Yeah. There's something on the sale, and I don't know, it makes sense. Just a marking? Yeah, it looks like a big patch. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to put that on there. Doesn't seem like it belongs. Hmm. Yeah. So 
Bob Zarb was in Sea Cadets. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh. That's, that, that's how he knows um, all these things about port and oh, okay. Sargon. So what did he say about how I remember port? Is Was that it? Um, yeah, Bob, how do you? How do you remember port side and starboard side, Bob? What's your answer? Uh, so he says, I don't know if this is his answer to it, but he says, if you were a sailor at a party, you always held your port in your left hand in case <sighs> you had to salute. Oh, okay. Well, that's easier for me to remember. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like an old mariner's tale yeah, to me. Yeah, it does, but that one's easier for me to remember. Yep. Well, I remember I was at... Wine gets held on the left-hand side. Okay, that one I can remember. I was in a, the officer's club one time at a naval function. And I wore a, I, I was at a... Nav, I was at a naval function mm -hmm. and in the officer's club, and I wore a hat, and man, that didn't go over very good. No? No, they walked no. right up to me and said, you can't. Yeah. Is that it's, like it's totally against tradition for me. Uh, disrespectful. Well, because not that I just didn't know. So I no, no, that's it. obviously yeah, to them it is. Yeah. And, and I wonder if it is because... You know, no, no just, it's just tradition. It's proper tradition. I would think. Yeah, which is not a bad thing. No. Because sometimes traditions... Merely manners. Yeah. You know, it's I find, and I did this. I did this on the last ship. I did. I'm working on all of the rigging on this side of the ship, forgetting that you see through it, and uh, I just did the same thing all over again. The same rigging. It's usually almost a carbon or a photo, carbon copy on both sides. Yeah. So the rigging I got here is lacking over here. It's not. It's totally missing. Boy, hour and a half of doing this it would bore people to death, man. Maybe I should maybe do some seagulls or put an island in there or some beautiful. Put some seals or something on it, on the island. Okay. <laughs> Kelsey was in my room this morning and she moved some stuff around to take that photograph that you see on Facebook. And I said, you better check your hands because you touch anything around this E, uh, around my easel, and you, and you could have paint all over your hands. And look, at it, I just got paint all over my hands. And that was a cloth that I watched you move this morning. Oh yeah. Yeah, it had white paint. It's okay, Ron. I'll teach you a thing or two. <laughs> so, I'd like to get your comments on what we do. I, and I and I don't want you to hold back with me because I, what we really want to do is we want to make these uh, these videos worthwhile for people to come and watch. And uh, we're not uh, we don't I don't like to be fancy about stuff. You know that already. Um, and if you could do do me for and really you know comment as to what goes on with what we're doing and and if things are look right or if they look wrong or if you enjoy them if you don't enjoy it or if there's something that's that could be fixed please let us know because i'd really like to make sure and have that happen as we go here any suggestions you, yeah suggestions you need for a sure. song and dance in the middle or <laughs> yeah. more dancing half time yeah a half time show so i'm gonna actually i'm gonna leave that go for a bit and and i had mentioned uh, earliest in uh, in the earliest stages of what we're doing here is that I wanted to put the mist of the sea in here and I find when I look back at the painting uh, it's dramatic, the sky is dramatic but it, I, I'm actually going to kick it up a bit and hopefully people like it. Um, that's kind of a risky thing to do right now because 
uh, uh, I think I think it was Colleen that mentioned the very first time she saw it, it was dark. And I knew it was going to be dark because none of the highlights of the water. That you know, the paintings usually t during their early life look dull. And uh, what I'm doing here right now is I'm going to make this this cloud look a little more dramatic. And you see this happen right in front of you. I really like the moodiness. What, what I love about this piece is it's not, it, it's not, uh, doesn't give you that scary, moody feeling. Right. It's, there's light at the end of the tunnel too, so that's kind of nice. Well, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what I did as far as the scenery myself. Like, I, you know, I mean, when, when you're painting a painting, I guess, you, you, like, uh, I always make a little tiny story up for me. And I wanted to show the strength of the ship. And in uh, Gordon Lightfoot's song, uh, the Christian Island, she's a, a, a what was it? how the heck does it go? And Bob Saul sitting there saying, I know how it goes. <laughs> um, she's a good old ship. Or, uh, uh, she'll... Like, what happens with the Christian Island, she could go through any gale and keep smiling. That's the line that he's using in there. And what I've done is I've actually put a gale in the background, and the ship is coming out of that and looking happy, you know what I mean, and, and content to be there. But at the same time, I, I, the reason for the drama, the drama is to show that the ship is a very, very strong ship. Ah, that's just symbolism to me. Ah, ah. But, but, but what I'm doing right now is kind of tricky. I'm, I'm casting a I'm casting a halo around the ship to bring it up to bring it up on the canvas. Oh. Right, and and it's I know it's gonna. It's not. This is not real. You know, this is my own oh. made up scenery, right? So, I can do what I want. What do you call that photography? Uh, vin vignette. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of kind, kind of, of like a vignette. That? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a vignette. Oh. One thing they well, do. Well, that's pretty tricky. What? <laughs> well, that's I, that's pretty cool. I would have never thought to actually do that in a yeah. painting. Most, well, I don't know how many painters would. That's oh. um. That's where I, I, I can boast a bit. I, I pride myself on having techniques that are a little bit advanced in that area. That if I want to... Uh, Rembrandt did it. Rembrandt did a lot. He actually used, uh, similar to vignette. Uh, yeah, what, 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 his outsides were darker or something? Well, they're darker, but they also weren't very detailed. And he... Uh, oh. My paintings are usually the detail doesn't uh, the detail doesn't break up. His well, even here you see it. I mean, the focus on the detail is here. To me, a lot of it is these two sails. To me, that these two sails bring the ship forward. You know, and then uh, even in here, like I, I kept on darkening this down. It's a great big monster brush, but I kept on darkening this down because the darker I make this part the more the ship pulls off the canvas. And actually, when you think about it, that's how your eyes work anyway. Sure. If you look at something, you're looking straight at it, and all your detail is in the center, and everything around, say, the whole room is out of focus. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, well, and that's why photographers like, uh, they, like the uh, blurry background so much, because yeah. it does create a, almost a, it's a stereo, almost like a stereo, or a, Stereo view or what? No, three D, three D view. Stereo. <laughs> well, stereo is two eyes that make. Yeah. I mean, you are looking with kind of stereo. Yeah. You're visualizing in music, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ricky is Ricky. here. Ricky Sharp. Oh hi, Ricky. Hey, Ricky, you're so fine. <laughs> we do that every time he comes I on board. He must be tired of that. Comes to, comes 
to my mind. It comes out of your mind, you mean. Comes to mind. out of her mind. Comes to mind. Yeah. 69. Oh, 629. I'm going to build up Madagascar. It's going to take six to nine weeks. 69 weeks? <laughs> I, I got to slide back, sorry guys, but I have to slide back because these are subtle changes and I don't want to mess things up. And that is happening. That's, I love when a plan comes together. because they want to rearrange their, their suit you art wall. <laughs> I was actually just going to say, I recognize a lot of these faces now, so definitely have some... The, na the names or the... Yeah, the yeah. names and the faces. Yeah. Um, oh, faces. the pictures. ones that are on oh. face, like their, yeah. their you know, profile pictures. So it's like, you yeah. see that they've been here for all of the live sessions. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. And Dave Shuttleworth. Oh, hi, Dave. <laughs> he loves joining us on his lunch. Uh -uh. So cool. Uh -uh. Better get back to work when it's done, though, mm. when your lunch time's over, or else mm. heads will roll. Right? Are you going to, just out of curiosity, are you going to put any kind of white in that area at all, or no? In yeah, what area? Where the dark... In here? Yeah. No, not really. No, I want it to be... This is more of a backdrop. I'm going to actually, right now, I'm going to move up to the top there. Okay. Wait, is there something you see? No. Nope. Colleen's good for... <laughs> you know, that's... They're not hints. Colleen knows that when she has to say something to me, she can. That's the side I was looking at. Was That's what like I hear no, you mean? Well, no, the whole, that whole dark area, it's like I can't decipher the cloud at all. And that can happen. And I would have to think on camera it's even worse just because you, those things are hard to pick up. You know, like the, 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 the depth like that? Yeah, but, well, as the cloud gets closer to you... Uh, it, like that little piece of cloud here coming closer to you is this piece of cloud. Gotcha. So it's smoother. Gotcha. It's going to be smoother. Right. It doesn't have to be. It is going to be. Someone okay, is this calling is being called out of the room. I will. Please be right back. And that's one on the glasses. And now I'm going to go up. I'm going to actually take my. Oh, I don't wonder if I can do that. Maybe my chair. I got this chair that goes real high, but not high enough. I don't think. We can still see. Yeah, I'm just. This one. Well, it's just I want to work on these clouds up top here without being too much in the way. It looks like I might be too much in the way. I know I am right at the moment. Apologize. Find the cloth. And Marla, uh, Colleen just stepped out of the room, but I'll let her know as soon as she gets back in. What she have? For well, she's just wondering if she could check her message on Facebook. Oh. oh. can't see, so I really do apologize if I'm in everybody's way here. Yeah, it actually doesn't look bad. I can see what you're uh, painting with your okay. hand. Okay, good. 
one thing is to hold this steady stick. If once in a while it'll move on me, man, does that make a mess. Real fast. Just bring the highlights up to full value, which to me means pure white. If uh, When you get the front of the sail like this, if you get it to the point where the sun looks like it's burning the image, then it becomes the right value. Fussy? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're gonna we're gonna put two flags in a bit. The main mast is gonna have the flag of Nova Scotia. Oh, and the that. flag on the rear will be the country's flag. Is it for me? Did I get something? Sorry? Conversation messages you on Facebook. Oh, okay. I will mess. I will look at your message later, Karma. And we have Lynn and Steve here. Oh, good. From Halifax. She says live from Halifax. Yeah. <laughs> Overlooking Lunenburg. No. No, they're in I, I know, I'm kidding. Yeah. What's the weather like there, I wonder? Probably chilly. That was one of my favorite things when we went there, was watching the uh, tide Especially in, come uh, in and out. In New Brunswick. Yeah. It's hard to hear. At oh, least right. yeah. Colleen's a long distance away, so she should get there. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Ricky says, is that a horse in the clouds trying to find the secret stuff? That's <laughs> 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 like you want it to be, right? <laughs> well, I, I play with a little bit of it, but I think I might just, I might play with it a little bit after we're on. <laughs> after we're on? I mean, after we're on. Off. <laughs> so that, there'll be stuff in here where you actually have to come in and see it to know what's going on. Do I have to give it all away, do I? <laughs> Gary's visiting because it's past his lunch time. Gary? Yeah, he's been bugging oh, me. Oh, they're good though. Yeah. They have such time clocks, those yeah, guys. Yeah. I'm taking my time to make sure I'm not right or wrong on certain things. What are you doing? Just out of curiosity, what is that? I can't see it from here. That's how that would attach to the line. Oh. There's a line that would run on the leading edge right. of the sail. And it would have little holes in it to attach. Yep, I'll stand aside here. I'm trying to think of the name of those. I can't remember the names. But these? Yeah. Spinnakers. What? The sails? No, the little circle things. You're grommets doing. or whatever? Kind of like a grommet. Yeah, they are like a grommet. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. I'm always blown away by the littlest details, how they can make such a big difference. It does. It, well, actually, in all of the... I found the rigging. Boy, you start to put the rigging on a ship, and that's... Yeah. That is... It's not the icing on the cake, it's actually the writing on the icing on the cake. Here. Absolutely. That's like when I walked in here the other day, I said, I'm not sure what you did, but wow, <laughs> does it ever look like a real oh. image now? You know, that's the thing, I've done that too, where he'll say, like he's been painting, and then I'll come in and he said, what do you think? And I'll go, well, it doesn't look any different. And that's because it's right. 
If yeah. it was wrong, I'd know right away. Yeah, that, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So it's almost a good thing. So me. it's so natural that it's like, well, what do you mean? It looks normal to me. Yeah. It looks like a ship. Yeah. I find you're shadows, when shadow. you're working with shadows, if, if you make them right, they're right. If you make them wrong, you're in trouble. People. That makes sense. People will recognize a shadow that's wrong so yeah. quickly. Well, not every shadow, but a lot of times they would. We'd look at it and say, I don't know, that's not, it doesn't look right. Or it stands out too much. Sure, because your mind's eye would tell you that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, something, something doesn't feel something's right. Something's wrong. I don't know what it is, yeah. but something's wrong. Jana Blair is here. She says, hey. secretly watching, sort of, at work. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Jana, you're in trouble. Said, don't worry, we won't tell on you. <laughs> How's, did the, the, her frame get fixed? Yep. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's funny, it if, uh, I'm going to say this right now. We, you know, people, companies say lifetime uh, guarantee or whatever. When we do our framing here, it's always uh, on a lifetime guarantee. And Jana had one that went out the door. I hope I'm right on this one. This, this is the right and her the piece the frame warped by itself right mm -hmm. yeah is that right yeah. yeah it did actually yeah. and when it warped the corner popped it was just like i don't think we've seen that in 30 years hmm. but what do we do we take it back and do a brand new frame I'm sure so i would it if you're ever framing here and something we've done makes things go wrong don't worry about that we're that's our lifetime guarantee it's not some kind of a fancy word, limited limited guarantee or anything. It's a real guarantee. Well, all I know is if it, if it bite if it doesn't look good on my wall, then yeah. If you don't like it, I, if I wouldn't put it on my wall, I don't expect you to have it on yours. Yeah. Yeah. And the littlest thing too. I've had things like because I have to use brushes, and in this time of year, the static is horrible in anywhere. So we use these really fine brushes that before we put the glass on, we brush the glass and brush the actual whole piece just to make sure there's no tiny pieces of lint. Yeah. And I've had little tiny pieces of lint and sometimes I had one time a hair of the brush huh. in, and I didn't notice it and somebody brought up, there's a hair in here and I kind of grossed them out I don't blame it. Because, it, but you know, like it wasn't mine. <laughs> it was, it was from our brushes. And I'm telling you, little things like that would drive me crazy. A piece of lint or something. So that's what I'm saying. If for some reason I miss it, and you know, you get it home and something's bugging you, bring it back. Because those little things would drive me nuts. <laughs> I'm kind of laughing because there's times. Especially with black suede. If you want oh. black suede, forget about it when it comes to Colleen in. <laughs> <laughs> because black suede is it, it absorbs light so that it's black. I mean it it's shows. it's yeah. black as it can be and if it's got the teeniest speck of dust if that maybe it'll blue. show up. So yeah. And yeah. then I've watched Colleen take things apart three and four times. Oh yeah. Oh. Sometimes and, more. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it just, you know, and it's just, like I said, especially this time of year, I swear we get them in, and it just sucks these little tiny pieces and flecks of dust in, oh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you guys only knew the amazing hard work that goes behind the frame. It is such a cool process. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. It's fun. Tedious. Well, and that's, cool. yeah, it is. that's certainly it's not... Like. Yeah. It's, we don't... I, and as far as Colleen, we don't get paid, you know, it's like, you don't walk into a, you walk into a car dealership and they're like, I don't know how much an hour anymore, $100 an hour. I mean, I've seen Colleen spend two days on a frame that we barely make any money off to start, but that's not important. It's, the important thing is that it brings in more customers. Yeah. I, I really do, like, 
people, you know, laugh when they hear people say, I love my job. I really do love my job. Ah, oh, I know. Oh, I, I thought that was... <laughs> no, I do. And, like, the memorabilia pieces, I know I spend too much time on them, but you know what? They are a labor of love for me. You know, like... Holding your hand, somebody else's treasure. And that's them. what it does for me, too. You know, and I've done memorabilia pieces for people that say have passed away, and so I've gotten some of their trinkets and things like that, and I'll do a kind of a memorial. Yeah. You know? And so I feel like it's like, yeah, I'm helping this person's legacy live on. Absolutely. Yeah. We've seen some wild stuff come through. Yeah, we have some really interesting. One of the nicest ones was. Um, an Inuit uh, oh. bow and arrow, which was made of, I believe, what a wall, wall was? No, it was, it was caribou. Caribou? Oh, caribou. It was that's a caribou real. bone. Yeah. That's something you'd only see in a museum or something. Yeah. It, you know, and that's, yeah. yeah, and I felt like that when I was framing it, and I just loved it. And again, the history, because this fellow, even the the bow part was, was, um, uh, Antler. No, 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 that, you know where they have the, the gut? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the string. The string. Yeah, the yeah, mm -hmm. string, yeah. That it was actually a piece of, you know, like the gut of an animal. Oh, Ew. It, yes, no, it, it wow. was beautiful. Ew. It was just so beautifully yeah. done. It was a work of art. It really was. It was a work of art. So, and he told me, the fellow that told me, he, like he got it because he taught way up, you know, in, in northern Canada. That they could tell whether the caribou was a winter caribou or a summer caribou because of the it actually had kind of a little bit of red, which meant blood in it was blood in the bone. So they could tell whether it was a winter or a summer oh, like a caribou. Yeah, the be, original yeah. autopsy. Yeah, yeah. That's really it was impressive. fascinating. Yeah. 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 So I'm taking a good look at oh, it here. Good. Yes, and I will say, I'm just going to boast again, because a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, they'll take some really unusual things to framers, and framers get really nervous about doing, because it's brand new for them, so they've got to kind of make up how to mount something in there, and I, I don't get nervous, I get excited. <laughs> Yeah, because it's a real, uh, first off, an honor, a challenge for me to figure out how to make it archival and, you know, like by either wiring it in somehow or, you know, so that you don't see that it's actually sitting in the frame, but it really makes a, just a, a beautiful work of art. Yeah. Hey, should we talk about what kind of frames we're going to pair with this? Yeah. Is that allowed? Is that allowed? <laughs> is that, allowed? Is that um, information we can divulge? Sure. <laughs> sure. Well, well I, does. Well, why don't you go get some frames? Well, I can do that. For, just for fun. I will be right back. So. And in the meantime, I'm going to try and get at this. Um, I'm going to try something new that I've never done before. So if it doesn't work, then I've ruined my painting. <laughs> Start from the beginning. <laughs> Start all over again. <laughs> so it take me a minute or a second to clean my brush off. Okay. I'll go through Don't get me started. You know what I'm going to I am. So what we do is, Pauline and I take some time. And we usually pick out with a pro any program we do, as a matter of fact, any, any project we do, our project, that we know is going to be printed, we will actually pick out the three best uh, frames we can find, frame combinations. And it's a, it's a lot of fun for us because mm -hmm. not too often we get the chance to do it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And they become artist choice frames. And... Uh, yeah, we'll spend a good yeah, we could, uh, afternoon picking out different colors yeah. and sometimes before when he's painting I'll, I'll kind of have in my mind it's like, oh, I know I know a mat I want to use on that or I know a frame I want to use on that. Yeah. Which reminds me, I found a really beautiful frame I wanted to put on the original that I'll have to show you after. 
And there's how many pieces? One, two, three, four. There's like four Here? different components. Yeah, this to is the to the frame. This is going to be. I'm going to hold it without knocking your painting rod. This is going to be you, the you artist's room. You want to come right room. up here in front of Can me. you see that? You can lower it just oh. a little. Yeah, I wanted to show it on the... Yeah. This yeah. is going to be the artist's proof and the printer's proof. Yeah. And it's got... I'll bring it up closer, but I yeah. just love this. Yeah, that would be awesome. When you can see it. Yeah, a little higher. Perfect. Okay. This is the linen mat that I want to do, which I think... Can you just move over just a little bit? Can you just move? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Which I just love the colors because if you see it, can you see that? Yeah. I just love how it's going to match. These oh, yeah. color combination is definitely going to match that. Yeah. Absolutely. And those are for yeah. the artist proof and printer's proof. This is for the artist proof and, and the printer's proof. What's nice about the texture of that frame is if you look at the piece of wood that we got from the blue nose, that's actually what the side of the ship looks like a bit. It's yeah, got this, this distressed look. I like the kind of pitted. Yes. Yeah, not totally black. It's got a little bit, you know, a little bit of the. How, how long did it take you to choose that frame for this? This one was kind of quick because, again, I knew I wanted to do a canvas. Um, so I sort of started with that. I also knew because I had done the blue nose that I wanted to do something in black because it really pulls the ship out. Oh, yeah. So that's Absolutely. what that was. Yeah. And then I've got to fill it in here. And it's got a touch, touch, touch of green in it. You don't... In the way again. No, it's okay. You don't really notice it, but it really picks up the green that he's got in the water. Yeah. yeah. It's very subtle. Yeah. I just love that combination. And then this one... You are a genius. <laughs> Then I've got two choices for the sign and numbers that you yeah. want. And okay. the, just so you know, I just put a little blue to it. It probably doesn't even show up on no, the it doesn't. On, on TV. No, it does not. Yeah. But I did put a little blue in there. And then this one, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna just pop in front of the camera for a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if I can get to the side. This one is one of the ones for the artist's choice. Again, I really wanted the colors of the sails. Looks good. A little yeah. Lower. A little lower, so like right. that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if you had it. And I like the gray, mm -hmm. but it's a nice charcoal gray. And it's not a barn boardy, but it is a bit, you know, it's rough, so I really yep. wanted something like that. And then it's got, you're kind of a, it's sort of a blue gray, which I really yeah. wanted to pull out the clouds in there. Yeah. I find that one to almost look a little more modern. <laughs> to me, I yeah. Yeah. I see a lot of people like yeah. navigating the country style. Yeah, no, 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 that like doesn't that. have that feel to it. That gray, the grayish black wood to me. Yeah. Is very nice. Yeah. That's actually, you know, and then, I mean, what you said is, is for the, the so uh, frames do run in style. And, and they do. And we do a lot of times, we are using the most recent styles that we've been getting in. Uh, doesn't people probably don't realize that, that we do get styles. So that and then this, yeah, and then this is another one again. I'm sorry for going in front of the camera for a minute. And then this is I can't go around the back because we've got two cameras there. So I wanted a bit of the blue to yeah. pull out that, but I didn't want it screaming blue either. So I really wanted it that. Believe it or not, this is called Harbor Blue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Not starboard and harbor? No, it's called harbor blue. Yeah. <laughs> starboard and nice. har harbor. And then, uh, and then again, I wanted to pull out the sails, but you can see the colors there. Yeah. I really like that one. And this, I love, again, because it's got the black, but it also has a rope effect. Yeah. And uh, we've used this on a couple of our pieces, and I just... It's great for ship painting. Well, I didn't, Bob, Saul, and I, I don't know why we have a thing about, we really like this frame. Right. And it looks so nice, especially with a ship painting. Sorry, I'm in your No, way. it's okay. <laughs> 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 no, actually, I don't want to. Isn't that nice? You don't want to interrupt So you'll have, I Whatever know, you I do, you don't want to interrupt Am I passionate about framing? Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there anyway, those it. two are going to, you'll have a choice of either one of those with the, uh, Signed in numbers. Those are the two there. Mm -hmm. And again, like I said, there's 350 signed in numbers, and they are. Um, 
going to be framed for you. They'll have a piece of wood in the actual framing of the Blue Nose 2, which is, that's pretty cool. I just love the fact that it's got a, a, a piece of artifact of the Blue Nose 2 in it. Yes. And then they're ready to hang for you. So that's, there was 350 of those being made. They're uh, regular 395 and we have our pre-production price if you order now. They are 345 And then the artist proofs and printer's proofs. The printer's proof, there's only 10 of them. And they will have the piece of blue nose wood in there. They will also, on each side, they're going to have uh, the Canadian dime. We've got a hold of the old 1921 dime. That was the first year that this ship was launched, so that's 100 years old. It's 100 years old, that dime. I just realized that. That's yeah, pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, I never thought of that I never, either. Yeah. And then um, the other dime that I'm going to have on the other side of the wood is 1937, and it has the blue nose on it. That was the first year Canada put the blue nose on their dime. So we'll have those two dimes in the printer's proof. And then the artist proof. It's going to, again, have the canvas frame, or the, sorry, the canvas uh, mat, and it's going to have a piece of wood, and it will have the one dime, the 1921 dime, the first year that, the, that it was launched. And I'm going to show you that. Where, do we have that block of wood here, Rob? Uh, I put it back where it was. I'm going to go get it. It's pretty cool. Sure, like sure, 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 sure. So as she's talking away, I'm actually... Um, I could I could call the painting finished if I wanted to, but I don't. I, I I I when I look back, if I find that something just doesn't look quite as 3D as I want, or the contrast in this painting means a lot. And that's if you look back at the original piece, we had a big black blob there. It just looked horrible. Actually, uh, somebody had mentioned I won't mention the name right now, but he said he said. Boy, that, that ship looked like it was out of proportion. Well, without having the perspective and the atmosphere, it had to look out of proportion because you weren't seeing that the ship was away from you. It looked like it was flat this way. It was in a profile. And in a profile, it would be all wrong. This calling back. She's back. I am. I just she, 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 yeah. I no, no, you go ahead. This is the actual piece of plank. Do they call this plank, right? That's well, yeah. I guess yeah. It would be the, the plank anyway. Of the this I just love this because this is the actual piece of the ship. from the blue nose. I'm going to show you a, a photo. This is them restoring the blue nose, taking these out because it actually had dry rot on it. So that would be the outside. Can you see that? Absolutely. And that's exactly the piece that they're re they're replacing. Yeah, right there. Look at how thick that is. I just love it. What do you think, like three, three inches thick? Oh, I bet you it's a bit it's more. Two. No? That's, I believe two. That's, I'll tell you, that's two inches. Oh. So, yeah, but the two inches, then they would have a, uh, uh, they'd have a hollow between. If you look oh. real closely, there's a hollow between. The second layer is this again. So we, oh. it's probably, the hall would be probably five inches thick, I would, I'm, I'm guessing. At least five inches thick. So that's in case they ever hit a nice Because that's burger. the actual black on the outside. Yeah. I mean, these yeah, guys. Of the, of the ship. I just love that. So this gets cut, sliced, mm -hmm. and you will have a piece of wood from the actual blue nose, too. Once it's in the frame, will uh -huh. the black be facing out, or will that just be a little no, bit of black you won't, trim on the top? No, I'll go. Actually, I should have brought a piece of wood planking in, or the little piece of wood, because. It's sliced, and no, you don't really see it because it's on the side. She just went to go grab us a sample of what we can yeah, actually expect. Mumbling as she goes. <laughs> so I'm just bringing highlights up where I want a little bit more detail to show. This actually, this almost gives you a spiritual feel when you mm -hmm. accomplish these parts of the clouds properly. Sorry for the door slamming. Well, don't. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, this is the wood. We actually had somebody slice it for us. So that would be a piece of wood that goes in your framing, right? If I have the, yeah, I have but that's that right? too large for the piece that we're doing. Okay, I think they're probably going to be more in like this that. Area. Yep. Okay, but an actual piece, and we do also have certificates for the back. I believe, do we? Yeah. Yeah, we and do. And the certificates come from the people that built the ship itself. Yeah, oh, wow. to so say that that's they, they are off the, uh, yeah. yeah, they're authentic. It's, a, it's an authentic artifact from the Blue Notes yeah. too. To, yeah. Oh, These yeah. are the ones we had done for the actual Blue Nose 2 painting that he did. Mm -hmm. So we've got some that are going to go in this. Yeah, in case they didn't want... And this is a ni much nicer size for people that yeah. have limited space on the wall. Uh, we The last Blue Nose 2 was 20 by 20 inches. This painting right now that you're looking at is 30 by 30. That's big. And then we did uh, a, a 20 by 20 for the last print. Well, that still 20 by 20 makes about a 30 inch square for your wall, which is big for a lot of people. So mm -hmm. this one, we've actually planned it to be more, again, uh, let's just say in style. Yeah. It, more, yeah. you know, uh, we'll for the times. Back. And, and uh, well, it's a 12 inch print and it works out to about 20 inches by the time it's done yeah. 20 inches square, which is really a nice size. Really a nice size. I'm actually looking forward to seeing them because they. Yeah, me too. They look so nice like that. Mm. So is this the final, the final finale of the? This is the day. Yeah. It's the day that it get. The last thing that ever happens here is it gets signed, and I try my best not to spell my name wrong. <laughs> I have to remember where the eye goes. I've done it once. <laughs> I did it once. I can't get over that little bit of dark that you just did, what it yeah, does. Yeah, that's for very that. important. But that's where these little, you know, it's the, those little picks of detail make everything happen, right? That's amazing. Capiche? Capiche. So when will everyone get to see the final product? So image in the frame with the dyes, the wood? Uh, well, uh, the painting actually has to get taken to a special... Photographer, photographer. Yep. and he takes a day or so to take the, a, a, a professional picture of mm -hmm. the painting yep. that we get back in digital, and then Ron will print some of the prints off for us, and I will make some uh, the frames for it, and we are hoping by I'm trying Monday, to, I think. Monday. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Monday we should have Monday. we should have a package to show. That's right. If that's Kelsey's <laughs> wish. Yeah, I was more of um, a question Ooh. that I kind of knew the answer, but I want to see <laughs> if we're all on the same page. Yeah, we are. <laughs> ah, we're being tested. <laughs> I got to say, sometimes we surprise ourselves because we'll come up with a project, and by that afternoon, he'll go do a, a, just a. a a sketch or something, mm -hmm. you know, like get the size that he wants, and I'll go grab some framing stock and we'll do the frame, and, and we actually have a mock-up yeah. okay. some days of, yeah. So yeah. you already you already just peeved a few people off, they say, well, why does it take three weeks for me to get a frame? Uh, I'm just kidding. Because, oh, you mean for the launch date? Because, oh, you mean, because no, I'm, I'm so demanding. <laughs> you have to be fair, you know. Everyone. What, what are you saying? Say? I, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know, some well, because some of our customers have to wait for two and three weeks. Oh, but that's because the reason the is because we got a bottle washer. No, no, well, the re yeah. real reason is because we got to order product in. We don't keep we don't keep everything in stock. And not only that, I'm finding with COVID, I'm there's a lot of back orders happening that I never had before COVID. Yeah. Simple things. One time, it was just the. the just the art glass alone, I had to wait. That's so surprising. For, yeah, for glass. Just Two a three little weeks. Uh, update yeah. on the time. We got about 13 minutes left. No. no I way. know. Where did that go? Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh here. So I got to put the <laughs> I got to put the flags in. Yes. <laughs> and here's how a flag happens. It doesn't happen very methodically. It it uh, it's. This is the Nova Scotia flag, and I'm going to use the picture that I got right here of it. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this. 
and this, and this, and this. And no. Nobody, nobody said, oh, there's no flag there. There's no ah. flag there. There's no flag there. Yes. If there is a flag there, that's going to show and up there's right a now. horse in the clouds. There's well, there'll be other there stuff. Else. There'll be other stuff happening here. So then, I go like this with that white that I just put on there. And, oops, there's the Nova Scotia flag. <laughs> and then there was a jaw. Uh, this one, because of the year, it wouldn't have, it would oh, not have had the Canadian maple leaf. Did Nova Scotia have a flag at that point? No, well, that's it. Oh, I'm with you. So you fly the, the provincial flag on the main mast. Oh, okay. And we would fly on this line right here coming down, we would fly the Canadian flag which was not the Canadian flag at the time. It was the Union Jack. Maybe a funny question, but I know that there's like some legislation about if you're going to have another country's flag, you should have a Canadian flag as well. You, well, you always do. You always have Is that the your... same for a provincial flag? You should have the country's flag as well? Or? Well, I'd, oh, I'd, oh, for I the ship, I think they would want to. And, and I'm just going to do a Union Jack here because uh, that doesn't look like a Union Jack at all. But uh, the Union Jack has some red. All I know is when we vote that you're supposed to have your country's flag and the country that you're in. You fly, oh, okay. when you're visiting, you fly the country's flag you're going to on the bow of the boat. Hmm. But when you fly a flag at home, and please listen to this because there are people that do this wrong. Yeah. So we've got a bit of a Union Jack happening there, and that's all you're going to get from that. Uh, when you fly it at home, you can fly the American flag or the uh, Filipino flag, whatever you want. But it has to be below the Canada's, Canada's flag. flag. You don't put it above, and a lot of people do do that, and that's really yeah, was yeah. not a good. Me. Not good. Yeah. So yeah. there's your Union Jack sitting back there. That's cool. Can we get a definition of Union Jack? Oh mean? my god! <laughs> oh, well, poor one. Kelsey. <laughs> Union Jack was Canada's flag, and it was actually the union of the different, like, because we were British colony, yeah. we were... Well, Trails? it was Brit yeah. it was Britain's it flag. It was Britain's so flag. It was, yeah. But it was, it was also a union, too, because I can't remember something to do with the stripes. I remember learning that early on in school. Because when was, I went to well, school, was, we still had the Union Jack. It was Scotland. Oh, okay. It was Scotland, Scotland, Ireland, and, and and England joining, and that's how the flag came to be. That's why it was called the Union Jack. Okay. So, and then Canada had the Union Jack because we were British. Yeah. And then it was. Six. I think it's just it's it's cute when you get somebody like Kelsey because she's an adult. Yeah. And she. She's a full-grown adult. Yeah, and yeah, it's like, explain the Union Jack. No, well, it's, I think it's no, great. It's, it's, I, I love definitely it. know about like British, the crown and stuff. It's yeah. uh, the terminology Union Jack is new to me. That yeah. was the name of the flag. And then we also yeah. had the red red ensign, which would have been a red flag with the Union Jack in the corner and the the seal of Canada or the. Emblem of yeah. Canada would have been in the middle. That, that actually was our Canadian flag. Well, we had the Union's flag, which would be the Queen's flag, which we would fly. Mm -hmm. Then we would fly the the uh, the Canadian ensign flag, mm -hmm. and then you would have a provincial flag. So you'd have all you could have all three. If you to. And I remember when I was really little, my grandfather they lived on Goyu Street, which is right downtown oh, Windsor. And the parade used to go by there, mm -hmm. and he used to get his Union Jack out every year and put it mm. on the front porch for the That's super cool. for Canada, you know, the, the parade. Yeah. Well, I'm old enough, I remember seeing the Queen waving at, at us from right at the corner where HMCS Detroit is now, or the oh. Medical Arts Building. So here we go, painting. Can be called finished. All right. I can't believe we got through that that fast and a man. Wow. Okay, so and everybody's gonna hate me because I sign in red. 
I love the red. <laughs> I don't. I think that's. The, oh, that's the the audacity of Ron. No, I always saw that. I remember when you used to start doing it. Wrong. I loved the red. Here we go. Can you see that? No, I don't can't. Too low. May I turn the camera down? You can do whatever you want. Okay. You're the boss. I just want to make sure we catch this historic moment. I also wanted to say to artists who who sign their paintings or prints or whatever, don't do it at the very bottom of your canvas because they always do it too low. Yeah, if you and want to be need... on the bad side of Colleen, that's what you do. No, because you know, like it's almost like they're they're embarrassed to sign their name, so they put it super super low. And the frame, you need a good quarter of an inch around your whole piece to frame with and a lot of times I've had to cover up the artist's name oh. to frame it. So what would be a safe distance from the artist? An inch. An inch, a Definitely. good inch. A good inch. But I always feel like a lot of artists, they get, I don't know. It's Maybe like, they're worried about taking away from the... Yes. A lot of them are and I think yeah. that that's part of the painting. Like, to me, be proud of what you yeah. did. I see it that way too. You know? Can you see what I'm doing here now? Yep. Maybe they can all copy my name now. It might be a little hard if they're viewing on phones, um, just because it's small so by small. nature, but that's all right. So it's Su Chu, not Su Shi. <laughs> Su Chu, not Su Chiyo. <laughs> you know what helps me? You said, oh, nice haircut, that really suits you. I said Su Chu, <laughs> Su Chu. I always say that to people too, they always ask me how to pronounce it. Does your hairstyle suit you? <laughs> oh, a um, couple comments here before we take off. So, Rob Zarf, he says, sorry, Bob Zarf, he says, So you have it all covered on your boat with the Federation of Planets flag, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Our boat is called, everybody loves Trekkie. If you're a Trekkie, you'd love the name of our boat. It's the, the best name I can imagine. It's Kobayashi Maru, right from Star Trek. And we do not fly the Canadian flag. We fly, on the, on the tail of the boat, we fly the Confederation of Planets. I had a special custom-made flag done for that. And uh, where you would see normally Leamington, Ontario, below the name, it says Planet Earth. Planet Earth. So our, our boat is from Planet Earth. It's not from Leamington. Yeah. So it we is an uh, Earth ship, not a spaceship. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, and we're then. proud of being a union of the world. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, our ship is... Our, That's funny, because Kobayashi Maru, real quick... Uh, I didn't know when I put the name on that that it is Japanese for ship Maru. Oh, clever! And uh, there we go. We got to finish painting here. Hello, no unveiling today. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We do a formal unveiling. We'll get some packages done. We'll announce it using Kelsey's methods, and uh, Sure. We'll do a real quick, uh, maybe a half an hour, 20 minute thing or something like that online. We'll show you the packages all done up. That's a good idea. And uh, we'll uh, do an actual formal unveiling with it. Maybe when I get it framed, I'll get it back, I'll get it framed. We'll put it up on an easel, bada boom, bada bing, betty boop. <laughs> and, uh, and we'll have some fun with that. Sure. So I don't know, are we at the time yet? I don't even know yeah. where we are. What time um, is it now? Let me check. Before I say it, so it's one twenty-seven. One twenty. Well, you're I'll, early. Okay, so I'm gonna sit here for three minutes. Yeah, just <laughs> have a staring competition. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna fix my name because I forgot to underline it. Yeah, um, I noticed on some older paintings you would put your first name in. Those are real old. Yeah, like those are first. twenty years before you were thought of, Kelsey. <laughs> oh, you're laughing. I'm serious. Hey, can I can I just can I just make a suggestion for the three minutes run? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you put something, hide something for the people that are watching? <laughs> well, if I hit something. <laughs> no, no, but it, then they know about it, but other people won't. Ooh. Just something, just for the people that are watching. You'll have other stuff. I know that, but just. Well, let's do a face then. Did I, should be I was going to say, did I put you on the spot? Well, yeah, yeah. I probably, it's like asking a rapper to do that, and yeah. all of a sudden he goes, duh. Yeah. 
Put something in it Please so that everybody else sees it. But let's see if we can do a face here without making it too. And, it, and if it does get too obvious, I'll I'll push it back so it doesn't look so obvious when we're done. Nobody knows what you mean by pushing it back. <laughs> uh, I'll soften it. Soften it down. I think we did Mickey Mouse on one of them. Yes, we did. You did. Well, let's we, do a Mickey, we did. Let's do a, <laughs> let's do a Mickey. No, let's do a Mickey Mouse hat right here. What? No. What? I'm trying. I'm going to do a face here. Okay. We'll get a face out of it. And whose face is it? Just Ricky's. Some <laughs> okay. Oh wow! Look at that. Ricky just So I just ruined the whole painting. Oh so. uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like a cartoon. Oh, a clown. We'll do an evil clown. No. <laughs> People with clown phobia would be like, yeah. no. I'll tell you, some of the stuff that's out there, especially Oopsie Daisy, because he gave me yak. Yes, he did. Personally. Yeah, let me. <laughs> Long story, we'll tell you about that another time. Just another thing, Kelsey, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> another reference. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be so knowledgeable soon. <laughs> I know all these things. Yeah, have you got 30 years? <laughs> yeah. I hope so. <laughs> well, if we're running out of time, are we running out of time? Yeah, it's on 30. Yeah. That's okay, right. so, right. well, I'll tell you what. They'll have to come in and see the face finished. Okay, guys, thank you. thank you very much. Don't forget to share. We are going to have this up online. It'll be on, on Facebook. And... Uh, and I guess you've probably got links in an email, I would imagine. I, I'm so naive to this. But anyway, please share everything with it. Uh, and uh, also I want to real quickly say that we are going to be doing a lot of work with artists in the near future. So start spooling that up for us. Share, like, comment. Please comment and tell us what we're doing right and wrong. I know we're casual, but we do want to make sure that it's... Uh, Something that keeps you, you interested and not bores you or whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, thank you very much. Thanks. It's Ron Suchu signing off from the Suchu, the beautiful hidden gallery, hidden treasure gallery in Essex, Ontario. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye now. Am I still on? Yeah. I'll do it again. It's this tripod that you fashioned. <laughs> <sighs> okay, bye.